Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on here and do a tutorial on how to blow dry your hair. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to blow dry your hair of any length. I know mine's a little bit shorter now, but um, I, I use this technique when I was doing with long hair, when I'm dealing with, you know, on other people's hair, this is how I dry hair. So, I'm going to show you, I haven't, like my hair is naturally curly that y'all can see. I have not brushed it since I got out of the shower, so I'm just gonna brush it really quick. And then, yeah, so, and yeah, so that's all I do, is I just kinda brush it, and then of course part it wherever you want it to be parted, you know, and that kind of thing. So I put two products in my hair, I love, Kenra products. So I use the Kenra, it is called Kenra Blow Perfect Blowout, and it is Light Hold Styling Cream 5. This is what I squeeze out and put in my hair, and then this is Kenra Blow Dry Spray, and it is a heat protectant spray. So I'm going to do that, and then I just squeeze a little bit out of my hair. I have really thick hair, so I do use a little bit more than some people would. Especially with my length and you want to start at the ends and put it on the ends and then work your way up And then see there's a little bit left on my hand. So you're going to put that up through the top of your hair And just like that And then I wipe my hands off Just on hand towel or whatever. I'm going to be using um, just a regular wet brush this one This is my wet brush that I use all the time and then I'm just gonna spray my blow dry spray. And then I kind of put my hair in the back like this and then do a couple of sprays back there. So, okay. So then what I do is I section off my hair. So, okay, so now I've got it parted back again and then I literally just divide my hair in half and bring it around the front. Then I just take my finger and just kind of do like that and bring it around to the front. And that makes a section, you know. And then that's a section. So let me grab the hair right there. Oh, that's part of the section. Okay, sorry. Okay, and then I do that the same thing on this side. And then I just twist it a little bit and then just ball it up on top of my head. And that's what I do. So, brush, blow dryer, and then I turn it on, and I do like this. So that piece of hair is not dry yet. So I'm gonna go and kind of do the rest of my hair. Y'all see that part? So it does blow it out nice and straight and everything like that. And then I will be right back and I'm going to blow dry the rest of my hair. And then I will come back with the top section up here so I can show you how to get a little bit of volume. And I'll be right back. I'm back. So I have most of my hair dry. So I just clip it up like I do, and then I'm just gonna let it down. Well, it'll come down. Okay, so I just part it right there. And then yeah, so since I part over to this side, I usually divide this section right here into two parts. And I'm just gonna record all of this so that y'all can see how I really dry the hair and get some volume. So I don't know if you can hear me over the blow dryer. So when you're doing your volume though, you want to hold it and then blow it up like that. 
but you want to always go in the direction the hair grows around the hair lays so that you don't like blow up the cuticle and make it fuzzy because if you blow it like this it's going to make it fuzzy but if you blow it like this with your brush then it's not going to make it fuzzy hopefully that makes sense done I'm gonna do the part that lays on the top and then I don't know what this piece of hair is doing <laughs> anyway and then I just brush it again and then I'm gonna blow dry that so let me pull this back <laughs> sure he was trying to fall down Part a little bit, y'all. There we go. <laughs> okay, so now my hair, I mean, it's still, you know, a little bit fuzzy on the ends, but it's pretty much blown out straight. So now I'm gonna do this other side, show you how I do this, because I am right handed. So I hold my dryer in this hand, my brush in this hand. So I'm gonna show y'all that. camera because when you get stuck your brush gets hung in your hair don't keep drying it just let it go and then brush back through it so just so y'all know now I'm gonna show y'all I have learned to dry my hair swamp so it's blow drying this hand and my brush in this hand so I'm gonna show y'all that too sure the back is dry I just kind of put my hair to the back and then I just brush it back like this 
and then I'll just hold my dryer up here and kind of do like that and then I keep brushing my hair. helped and now all my hair is dry and I do brush it a few times while it's still kind of hot just so it'll kind of make sure to get it all straight and everything and then you can always come up here and kind of fluff to get you some volume that's what I normally do and I will show y'all if you come up under your hair like this and do like that and just kind of rub your scalp a little bit you'll get a little bit more volume two so a little, little piece back there that didn't want to lay down <laughs> anyway okay so and then some questions about like what to put in your hair to straighten it or to curl it or whatever you do after you blow dry like me i'll wear it straight like this for a couple of days um and then i'll probably curl it or whatever but um to um Straighten it, you can just straighten it as is because the blow dry spray has heat protectant in it. There's also a Kenra hairspray that's like number 13 and number 11 that are really good just to spritz on the hair, straighten it, and then be done. And it'll hold really well. And then um, for curly hair, um, if you're curling your hair, you know, just kind of take each section and just kind of, you know, spritz each section with a little, um, little hairspray, the 13 or the 11 of Kenra. And those are really, really good for um, for straightening or curling. And then um, as to what brush to use, I really like um, the brand Wet Brush. Um, that's what I like to use. Um, they make several different kinds. They make like a square one. They make a round one. They make a round brush. They make all kind of different stuff. And then, yeah, so, and then for any kind of other, like I love Amica Texture Spray. I love Amika Dry Shampoo because I actually have it right here. Um, this is really good to give you some volume. And it's also really good to, you know, soak up any oil you may have if your hair is really oily like mine. And then I think that is everything. I hope this video helped. Um, comment below. Let me know what you would like to see. I'm going to try to do a hair tip Tuesday or Thursday. Like, once or twice a month and then if that really you know if people really like it then I'll start doing it more often because I really think that people can benefit you know from just having these tips and stuff on how to you know blow dry your hair how to straighten your hair how to curl your hair all these different types of things there's all kinds of different size curling irons there's different types of straighteners there are different ways to curl your hair with a straightener. There's different ways to blow dry your hair. There are different ways to, there's different things to blow dry your hair with, like a little round brush that's a blow dryer round brush in one. You've got the um, little brush that I use in a blow dryer. That's my favorite way, but I'm about to get a, um, a round brush blow dryer thing. So I'll be doing a demonstration on that. And yeah, so subscribe. I do Makeup Monday every Monday. Um, subscribe to my channel, comment below what you would like to see next, and um, whether that's hair stuff or makeup stuff, comment with any questions you may have, and I hope this helps. So, I hope you'll have a great day and a great week, and I hope everything's going well. So, um, come back to my channel anytime, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see y'all next time. Have a good day. Bye.